Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial um, in which we will teach you today how to solve a simple problem. Now, you may recognize these um, tablets. Now these are simple entry level tablets. They are very popular. You can find them all over the market um, as you can see here. Right? Um, they are quite affordable. So um, if you are thinking about getting one, um, they, are, um, they are okay. Now, the problem I'm focusing on today is the issue where you will start up a tablet and it's stuck at the boot screen or the boot logo or stuck on the Android logo, right? And it will not start up. Now, you may try restarting the device and it does not help. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to fix these tablets whenever that issue occurs, right? So this applies to tablets that look exactly like this and there are a number of brands. For example, this is the Aldemal edition. Right over here, I have the iRulu. Right now, this one was having the same issue, and what we did was to flash the operating system. Now we have an updated version of the operating system, which is Android, right, on the tablet. And this is the only way to actually get the tablet to actually start functioning again. Right, I'll place on the screen a, a picture of the issue or the log or the boot screen where the device gets stuck. All right. So we're going to go into actually how to actually fix this, alright? So, if you take a look on my screen up here, alright? Now, you'll need two pieces of software, and I'll be showing you the website in a minute, and there'll be a link in the description so you can go over to the full guide where you can actually find the download links, right? So, as per the instruction, I have downloaded these two files. Now, first one you'll need is called um, Phoenix card and this is version 3.06 there might be an updated edition later on but this edition will do fine and we'll actually need the firmware of your device now in order for you to know which firmware to actually use you'd have to actually open up the tablet and look at the circuit board inside and find the um, the ID number of the motherboard right Otherwise, you'll just be guessing, right? Um, however, if you have a similar um, edition like this, you can actually just follow this guide and actually use um, our firmware, and it should work for you. Now, if you get the firmware wrong, what would happen is that the touch and so on will just stop working. So you might have it fully functional again, but when you try to use the touch, it will not work, all right? So make sure you get the correct firmware, all right? So let's get into the um, repair process, all right? Things you'll need. One, you'll need a micro SD card. Here I have a 32 gig edition, but you don't need something as large as this. You'll need at least a 2 gig or higher, right? Next, you'll need a card reader or something that you can use to actually access the card on the PC, right? So you'll put in your memory card. You'll connect it to the PC, right? Then you'll download the Phoenix the Phoenix um, card um, software and then you'll actually unzip it so you can right click and extract right you should get a folder looking like this I've gone ahead and done it already you'll open up the folder right you can look for this green folder over here it's called Phoenix card reader.exe right what you're gonna do is you're going to launch this and then now you should be in the interface of the Phoenix card reader. Um, also, you'll have to go back. And then now the firmware that we're telling you about earlier, which is this, you'll actually download it. You'll right click again and you'll um, extract. Next, you'd go and um, you'll actually go into the firmware folder. And this, it should be a .img folder. Now this one is much to our all the mall tablet here, right? I'll have a guide on both how to flash the all the mall and the high roll, right? So for today we'll be flashing the all the mall, right? So we're gonna browse for this folder within the software. So we're gonna open this. Um, I've already connected my um, memory card, and as you can see here, it reads it as drive J. Next, you're going to click on this file here, and you're going to browse for your um, image file that we I just showed you a while ago. So we should look for it on the desktop, right? 
and the folder is tablet fix here we go open the tablet fix and it's the q8 v12 open that and there as you can see that's the img um, file that i showed you earlier right so i'm going to open that and as you can see it's showing now the path to the folder and as you can see the memory card is selected as drive j and this is flexible so you can always see which drives are compatible drives are connected all right now next you're going to make sure it's on product all right next you're going to format so you're going to hit format as you can see here it says device okay start format the card to normal so as soon as the format is finished you should get a notification format to normal mode is a success so you're going to press ok next make sure that you see format um, the formatting is completed is successful before you proceed and of course next you click on um, clear info and as you can see the notifications are cleared finally now you'll click burn and as you see here it says you're formatting the card Alright. All right. So as you can see the card is um, in the burn process. And it as you can see here you see the rate and the progress. Now sometimes you'll get an error. In case you get an error, do not panic. What you'll have to do is you'll have to actually if it's a memory card with data already on it, you'd have to go into Windows, uh, My Computer, and you'd have to right-click on the drive and format it yourself. So in other words, sometimes the software is unable to format memory cards with a lot of data, so you'd have to go into My Computer, right-click on the, um, the flash drive, which is drive J in this case, and you'd have to actually um, format the card manually, and then just do what we said here, we would have to actually format from within the software, clear and start burning all right so i might cut out this section and come back all right guys okay guys um so once the process has completed you're going to remove the memory card from the pc all right and you're going to place the memory card while the device is off you're going to place it into the memory card slot all right and once it's in there you're going to power up the device and once you power up the device, it should actually um, run the software. And then what would happen is that um, the device will be automatically reformatted. It'll just allow it to do its thing, right? And then the device should power on. Um, okay. All right. So um, as we said before, this was the issue where um, the device will be stuck here on the Android logo. We have reloaded the operating system, and now we're actually going to see if it will actually allow it to boot fully. Um, remember as soon as it's finished um, formatting you need to remove the memory card and put that aside and then allow it to boot normally. So this is the moment of truth. So remember before it will be stuck there. Alright, here we go. Device is up and fully functional. All right. Just remember that if it's not responding, the touchscreen is not responding. You have the wrong ROM. You need to change it. All right. Also, um, you have to go into settings and probably change the language of the ROM back to um, English. But that should be a no-brain. Any comments or questions? Just leave a message below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right. Um, breakdown of this entire process and what you're actually supposed to do and the files and where to get them. All right, guys. Thanks for um, stopping by. Goodbye.